This is the Auburn Tigers betting preview for the 2019 season. We got the Auburn Tigers finishing last year 8-5, and five, won the bowl game big time over Purdue. We got Gus Malzahn, Kevin Steele at the defensive coordinator position. A change at the quarterback position brings question marks. The offensive line looks to be improved. And Ian, one of the best defensive lines projected out there in the whole country. What are you thinking for the Auburn Tigers here in 2019? Uh, the Auburn Tigers in a fascinating SEC and SEC West this year where I think a lot of teams are going to feel they'll be able to make some noise and potentially uh, challenge Alabama for as difficult as that's going to be. Uh, we'll see if Auburn can be one of those uh, teams. Obviously, Jarrett Stidham had been the starting quarterback there the last couple of years. He's gone, and from all indications, uh, Auburn is going to have a battle coming up in fall camp between two freshmen for that starting spot, either Joey Gatewood or Bo Nix. So uh, it's going to be a very interesting battle here at for this uh, Auburn uh, starting quarterback job. And for the uh, Auburn Tigers, I know in the past, Drew, you mentioned that maybe Jarrett Stidham, not the greatest fit for the kind of offense Auburn wants to run, where the quarterback's really got to be mobile, uh, be able to be a big part of this, you know, run first, run oriented spread, up tempo spread. Uh, that Gus Malzahn wants to uh, run here with Auburn. Uh, maybe one of these guys, Gatewood and Knicks, will be more equipped to do that. Uh, certainly their offensive line, all five starters back, Drew. Now, the offensive line was not good last year. Now, that's the thing. Five starters back from an offensive line that wasn't good last year. That being said, they were better late in the season. I thought I saw improvement, and I think now with more experience under their belt, you will see a better offensive line. Defense, uh, we talked about last year, last season, how the Clemson Tigers – you know, we're going to send so many incredible players into the NFL draft from their defensive line. That could be Auburn this year. The other Tigers, the Auburn Tigers, with that kind of defensive line. Absolutely outstanding they are up front. They're going to be able to stop the run, be able to collapse the pocket, get pressure uh, on opposing quarterbacks. Uh, absolutely scintillating uh, defensive front. Nick Coe, uh, absolutely outstanding. Uh, Tyron Truesdale, Coinus Miller, uh, just a tremendous group along up front there. Uh, the secondary uh, looks like it should be really good as well with the, with the uh, duo of Daniel Thomas and Jeremiah Dinson there leading that secondary. So that defense looks like it's going to be pretty good. It's going to be a question of does Gus Malzahn get it right choosing his new quarterback and could they adapt and run the offense the way Malzahn wants them to. Yeah, and Ian, you bring up some great points. And look at the at their season win total. It's sitting at eight right now at FanDuel. And we think Auburn Tigers, you know, just last year sitting at eight, eight and five, I guess just in the regular season finishing with seven, but kind of a down year for Auburn. Um, looking at their schedule, because I was looking at this season win total thinking it's a little low, but they start off with Oregon. You know, they have Tulane with what, what Willie Fritz has been able to do, um, you know, likely a win, but still outside of Kent State and Sanford towards the end of the season, there's not a lot of layups in this schedule. And when you start talking, you know, the SEC West, that's just life in the SEC West. So as far as uh, season win total at eight, are you more inclined to bet it over or under? It's tricky uh, in this particular case, Drew, because we got to see what this quarterback, whoever it ends up being, does. It's going to be a freshman quarterback, you know, for the first time starting at Auburn in a very tough conference with good defenses littered across the SEC landscape. Uh, so that that makes it a little dicey in terms of the, of the win total. But, you know, when a team can flat out play defense and Auburn is probably going to be able to, I would personally personally lean over the total uh, in terms of the win total you got to love the first matchup of the season for Auburn their first game against Oregon in terms of the Oregon offense against the Auburn defense it's going to be outstanding because Oregon brings back Justin Herbert they have a tremendous offensive line great skill position talent going up against an Auburn team with an elite defensive line that offense versus defense matchup Auburn and Oregon in Jerry world Saturday, August 31st in Arlington, going to be a great matchup. And I think whoever wins that battle in the trench is going to emerge as the straight up and ATS victor. Yeah, absolutely. And Auburn's right now is laying three at SBR odds. And you bring up, you know, the quarterback change, Malzahn taking over the play calling for Auburn. Cody Burns is uh, co-OC. It will be really interesting what happens here. 
offensively for Auburn. And I'll tell you, you know, anybody that knows this program, when Auburn isn't expected to do too much, that's usually when they kind of exceed, make it to the national championship. We saw it in, in 13. We saw it uh, with Cam Newton. Also, uh, even before that, the undefeated season, um, that there wasn't a lot of expected from this program. And then at times when they're, they're projected to have 10 plus wins, they kind of uh, fall short. So overall with Auburn, it, we see some volatility with the change in the quarterback position and coaching but uh still uh it's an interesting proposition here for Auburn any closing thoughts Ian closing thoughts is you know they've got you know Texas A&M on the road Florida on the road LSU on the road some really tough games they do get Alabama and Georgia at home difficult schedule but Auburn's defense could have them uh exceeding expectations this season yeah, one of, if not the best, defensive lines in the country. Two well-timed bye weeks. Uh, should be a fun season there in the SEC West and week one versus Oregon. Guys, thanks for tuning in. He's Ian Cameron. I am Drew Martin. And make sure to check out SBR Odds for all the live, up-to-date, week one, week zero college football odds.